put hay into the stalls, um, into the feeders there. It's All right. Really We're pretty. So we've got our movie star Hunter back in action, huh? So this is what a daily routine would be for feeding horses. Right now they're bringing the hay in. The, where you're putting the hay right now, what, what's that called? Just a hay net? Yeah. Okay. And that's just so the horses don't waste so much hay by stepping on it? Yeah. Okay. And it slows them down. Slows them down? Okay. As you can see, they, they kind of enjoy getting fresh hay in the morning. See? Gator's kind of handy, isn't it? Yeah. Keeps the hay at the right height so you can get at it. We use it to do stalls too. Okay. How often do you have to clean the stalls out and muck them out? Every, every week. Okay. It depends on how bad they are. Right. gives you an idea of how they go about giving their uh, horses their hay and then we're gonna be going in and looking at the, the feed room here pretty soon and a few other things so we're gonna watch him fill up this last one Thank you, Hunter. We generally carry two types of feed. Right now we have alfalfa pellets, and we have what they call a sweet feed. So, we have some elderly horses here that we use for our therapeutic riding program, and they get a mix of the alfalfa pellets with the sweet feed. And the main reason is because they have a hard time chewing hay because they, their teeth are getting older and they just can't chew the hay. And so we do alfalfa pellets with the grain twice a day for them and we soak it with water and it's almost like a mash for them to eat. And that's how we keep their weight up. Yeah, and in this stall here they've got automatic waters in the stalls and then they use pine shavings for the bedding. And like Hunter said, you know, every other week they or or more they might have to clean these pens out but otherwise or some of them daily yeah depends on okay there's see now there's 
See, you guys get an up close view of a horse. <laughs> and the hay. So when it's in the net like that, guys, it, it, it kind of mimics them being outside grazing. You know, they can only pull out so much at a time. So we got two different buckets here. We, for the blue buckets, we use a half a, a full scoop of for both of them. Then for these two, we use half, half a scoop. Same thing with our 15%. Bring them over here and we'll soak them in hot water. So you soak them in hot water so that yeah. everything softens up. Yep. So that horses can eat it. This is for like your older horses. Yeah. Okay. Their teeth aren't quite as good. Yep. We'll use a shovel and mix them up. And then after this, we'll let them sit for about five minutes, and then let them soak, and then we'll go feed them. So it's kind of like having oatmeal in the morning, making oatmeal at home, huh? Yeah. Awesome. We'll let these sit for about five minutes and then we will come back and show you guys how they feed it to the horses. Okay, we're back here now. We're going to take that mash that we that Hunter made up and he's going to feed it to these horses. And like he said, this gets fed to the older program horses that their teeth aren't so good anymore. So they got to have some food that's a little softer for them to chew. And we feed these blue buckets to the older, older horses. And then we feed the black buckets to the two 
down. There's the second now I'll one. I'll go get the other two buckets. Yeah, maybe see that. A little better. And here they come. They know their food is here. They go up to their own individual stalls. And as you can see, they kind of enjoy it. different than when you guys wake up in the morning and you're hungry and they were waiting for their breakfast. <laughs> 